Australians spend up to $12 billion a year on fashion and clothing items, 5% of which ends up in our landfills annually. Clothesline is putting this fashion to good use by helping Sydney's disadvantaged in Woolloomooloo. Surrounded by parklands and set near the waterfront, Woolloomooloo is one of Sydney's most sought after suburbs. Known for its boutique hotels, trendy bars, restaurants and the iconic Finger Wharf, Woolloomooloo is a million dollar suburb which many could only dream about. But there's a side to Woolloomooloo that many Sydney siders are not aware of. It is here at the corner of St Mary's Road and Yorong Parkway that every Thursday night Stephen Cowie and his team of volunteers come to hand out clothes to many of Sydney's disadvantaged. Before establishing Clothesline, Stephen spent a number of years driving food vans for charity. I started Clothesline in 2009 uh, because I could see that there was a desperate need for a mobile clothing service for homeless and disadvantaged people in the city. They don't have access to fresh clothes or um, soap and towels. We obtain clothes from suppliers and from members of the general public providing their very good quality clothing. We bring them back to our warehouse at Rydalmere where they're sorted by volunteers, we're then loaded onto vans and taken out to where they're needed. Volunteers are the backbone of Clothesline and help the organisation in a number of ways. Sometimes it's really hard to see people doing it as tough as they do and you just feel like you really wish you could do a lot more. We are sometimes, we will do extra. People require extra emergency packages. We will do them up and take them out as well. As a non-for-profit organisation, Clothesline has relied upon the help of corporate donations. Their latest project has been made possible by the generosity of Black and Stone. Um, an issue that we have is that a lot of charities are quite large organisations and a lot of money that is, you know, is donated to these charities doesn't always end up going to the recipient. And it was one of our requirements that whatever we were going to do or whoever we were going to work with, that, um, that the recipient would get the most benefit. Many of Sydney's disadvantaged rely on the clothing and amenities given to them here. Yeah, that's right. A couple of weeks ago was where I got a, uh, a, a hoodie, this nice uh, a top like this, a brown one with the, the hood. The thing that's good about clothesline.org is that you know the, the clothes are for free, but otherwise I'd have to go to the Salvos or, uh, or an Angry Care. I can get by if I have to, you know, but and then there's, yeah, there's people even you know, worse off for me where they couldn't even afford a few dollars, I don't think, to buy any clothes at all. So, yeah, Clothesline really helps. Clothesline plan to continue their trips to Woolloomooloo every Thursday for as long as the support is needed.